What's going on guys and welcome back to another Forza Thun Weekly Challenge. Now if you're new to the series then I'll be showing you a basic run through the challenges that make you 100 Forza points. You can also double your rewards if you own this location on the map which is located on the top left. Before we get into this challenge let's take a look at the seasonal items and the Forza Thun shop for this week. For our first challenge, you own and drive any type of track toy. Now, Forza editions are allowed, so just like every other weekly event, you need to use these vehicles through all four challenges. You can easily buy them from the dealership or the auction house, and you need to exit the garage with the vehicle. If it doesn't trigger right away, then drive around the block for a few seconds. Now, the second challenge, you need to earn a total of 12 stars from Speed Zones. Up on the screen right now will be two of the best spots to attain three stars. But I would honestly upgrade your vehicle because you'll seriously need it for the next challenge. In the third challenge, you need to attain a total of 1 million skill points. Thankfully, you do not need to do this in one attempt. However, there is a few things that can help you. For starters, there is a few forced additions that you can use, and the main one is the Katrum R500 with the Drift Skill Boost. If you max out the Skill Mastery Tree, then you can technically attain this in one shot. Another great tip is Skill Songs, but here's the catch with those. These can come on at all random times throughout the day, and you also need to own this house location on the map, which is also kind of hard to find. Any skilled driver can crush this down at the airport, but if you cannot attain this in one shot, then don't worry about it. Then for a final challenge, you need to win three road circuit events. Now remember that it needs to be road events on circuit layouts. So you can run normal events that Playground has made, but I do have a few custom ones across the map. So if you're following me on Xbox, then you can easily find them. However, this is the one that I used for this challenge. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 4. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.